tell you all good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Happy Friday. I hope you all have a safe holiday weekend. And I'm back in Denise's kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you all what we'll be cooking. All right. We got some ribs, beef ribs, boneless ribs. And I'm going to be doing cooking the kales. Hell. And we're going to do some fried corn off the cob. And I'm going to do it the, the old time way, the way my grandmother and mother showed me how to do it. Cut it off with the knife, okay? The cob. The knife. Okay? So I'm going to get uh, set up. And let me show y'all what I'm going to do here with my kales. Let me pull y'all close, bring y'all down so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut the stem out of here. We're getting the stem out of it. See that? Fold it and just cut. All right. I missed this one. What I'm doing? Look. Just cutting that stem out of there. Okay? Y'all see what I'm doing? I'm going to uh, saute these. And what you do, you put a little, uh, the, I mean, olive oil in the skillet. Let it heat up. Look how pretty they are. So, I do this. Wash them real good. So, I'm going to get this all cut out, and I'm going to come back and show y'all the rest, okay? Hang in there. We're going to, I love this little, uh, Draining pans right here. Uh, my daughter. Right. So what I do here, I take my time and wash them. No, oh, there's nothing on it. Make sure I'm washing it good. I wash it in the water, and then I rinse it. Wash it, and then you rinse them. And you hold it so whatever on it, if anything on it, just go on through your hand, okay? Wash them. And rinse them. Y'all see what I'm doing here? Ain't they pretty, y'all? They so pretty, though. Y'all see how I'm doing it? Okay. And don't pick up a handful, just a little. Enough to so we have space. So whatever they want to make them run through. And... Put it over here. I'm gonna show y'all my next one. Why this water draining out. Y'all see what I'm doing here? Okay. Y'all see how I did that? You guys, here's the next water. I dump them in. Let me show you how I do it. Warm water. And then we're going to let it uh, drip dry. And kind of all the water freezing out of it. So we're going to put it in the grease. Take y'all back over here while that's draining. And clean this stuff up. Get rid of all that stuff. Get this cleaned up right quick. Get this cleaned off. Let me get my my kitchen pan. Now I made sure I bought me a this and I used it only for my candles. Y'all get y'all one of these. Nothing but cooking. Don't use nothing for nothing else now. Because it won't be clean. Okay, so this is what I use when I'm doing greens and stuff. You do it after you do it, you clean it up just like you're doing the dish. Okay, it's brand new. And then we're gonna go with our oven. Okay, 
Our next thing is I'm going to do, let's do this garlic. Do some crushed garlic. Let me turn this around so y'all can see. All right. Take them off. Crush this garlic up. Put it in here. Crush some pieces of garlic up. Put it going my uh, kale. Okay. So I usually put like two. I'm gonna put uh like four cloves in it. Four cloves of garlic. And as we crush it up, we're gonna put it in the uh, in our kale. So I'm just getting this ready. I love this little thing. My husband got it for me, and it works real good. Okay. So, get that all ready to go. All right. Yeah, hold on. Okay. Let's set that over here. The next thing is for corn. So, I'm going to take this corn and run it under the water. Y'all know how to do this? Let me take y'all back over here with me. Okay? Let me show y'all something. And this is how you do this. If you were trying to get the, the shuck off the corn. Y'all see? Got the hair on the corn. So, you do this. Hold it under there and let it just run down under there. Or you can spray it, but it's best to do that. Each, each. Each car. Mm -hmm. When you buy it, it's not all off. So especially since I'm going to uh, cut it. So we got that done. Y'all see what I'm saying? We got an ancient hat on it, okay? So, like I said, I'm going to do this in the old time way like my grandmama used to do. it. Put y'all back over here. Show y'all what I'm gonna do. Sometimes I remember them having a plate. Cutting off in a plate. Let me use one of these. I was thinking I didn't have nothing wide enough. So, I know. so this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna use this knife. And this is where I was taught to do it. I'm gonna do it the way I was taught to do it. Fried corn. Do it the old fashioned way. And my grandmother, I know they got some kind of uh, little thing that you slide down and stuff like that. But uh, we're going to do it like this. Okay? And don't cut your hand. You got to be used to doing it now. You see? You go back and you cut that again. Go back around. The little corners are sticking out. I'm going to show you how to do it. Y'all see the little, see how it's square? So then you cut that right there. And don't cut it. I'm going to show y'all what to do after we get to the uh, car of the corn. The car. This is how we're going to do it. Now, when you get to the car, you just do it like this. Just break it down. Okay? Clean in the car. You're going to get all the corn off. I say, say I clean the car here. You use one of these knives though. Okay? The corn, and it's really, really good. And it don't take long to do it. Some day, this is how I was brought up learn how to do it. So, get all the corn off the car. Here we go. Y'all see that? Just rake and get it off. Clean that car. Good eating, y'all. Believe me. And the way I do this now, to put a little season to this, like I said, I do it my grandmama way. When we get ready to cook this, put a little of that bacon grease in there, black pepper and salt, 
a little, this is sweet corn right here. And it is delicious. Now I'm going to go off, cut the rest of this corn up. I'm going to come back. Y'all see that? Let me finish this up. I got about three more pieces to do, and now I'll come back. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and I'm going to pour this extra virgin olive oil in the skillet. I want to hear like the fry a little. So here we go. Let me get a pop. 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 Some kind of top to go on here. But I'm gonna let this fry. Let it fry down. Y'all see what I'm doing here? So, I'm gonna put a little salt. I'm gonna put salt in here. Okay. I got the salt. And then, I'm gonna wash my lemon. So I'm gonna squeeze some lemon in here. We're gonna squeeze some lemon and, and watch lemon juice and watch the seeds. Make sure we don't put a seed in there. Okay. Alright. We're gonna stir this saute. Okay? Now I'm gonna come over here. Show y'all what I'm gonna do over here. Get back over here. We're gonna cut this up. We're gonna get a little red pepper. A little red pepper here. Not a lot. Okay. Slice it. Don't try to cut your hand now. Okay. Can y'all see? Put it back. So how was y'all week? Did y'all make somebody happy? As I always say. Yeah, I got so many. I got a big family and I got a lot of sisters. I mean, you know, my sisters, I think I got, let me see. One. One, two, three, four. Four sisters' birthday in May. And my daughter. I got uh, my daughter, my second child. Her birthday is in May. Hers is coming up. We're going to use some onion, y'all. We put onion in there. And I'm doing mine it's different. Everybody cook different. I, you can cook it in a lot of different ways. Let me go over here and stir this right quick. Let me cut it up a little. So I'm going to cook a little some more. Okay. And we're going to put onion there. And y'all know what? Have y'all ever tasted, uh, I'm sure some people have, if you're in the country, pork salad with uh, the egg and the onion in it. If anybody ever heard of that, let me know. Put it in the comment, okay? You ever heard of your grandparents or your aunties or... Your mama cooking the pork salad. Green leaf pork salad. That's good for you. Okay, you guys. Now let's get back over here. I'm just taking y'all back and forward. I guess y'all did it, baby. We're going to put this in our kale. That's what I'm going to put in here. I see that. You rinse this off. I, I clean as I go. I clean as I go. This wash the detergent. Wash it down. I have a little cup with the dishwasher detergent in it. Finished cooking, everything is ready. 
All right, now the next step, you guys, while this cooking, look how pretty that is. While this cooking, I'm finna do my, uh, I want to get this a head start. We finna do the corn. And this gonna be sure enough good. Definitely gonna be good. Look how pretty. Look. That cooking. Let me slide it over here. We're gonna change sides. I'm gonna put this skillet right here. And we're gonna do the corn. Okay. I usually cook everything at one time, but this time we're gonna we'll do to my corn. I'm gonna show y'all what we're gonna do here. So. I'm gonna put by, this is one fourth cup of bacon dripping, okay? Set that right there, one fourth cup. That's enough. That's enough. All right, get that going. Now, here is the corn. It's pretty, ain't it? Good old corn. I'm gonna wait till my grease get hot. I think it's hot. Okay, we're gonna put this in here. And, it's already had the little, look at you guys. Let me pull this down. Well, y'all see? Now I'm going to run some water in this plate. There we go. Okay. We'll put a little more water in it. Just a little more. Let's put a half a cup of water. Cause this got to cook. Okay. This is fried corn on the stove. And next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna watch my kale. Make sure it's cooking good. And I didn't put no water in it, y'all. It's like fried, okay? All right, our corn is doing good. So let's put our pepper. That's enough of pepper right there. And we're going to put a little salt. I'm watching my kale while I'm cooking it. Everything at one time. I'm put my meat on at the while. And now I want to, I'm going to put a tablespoon of butter. It's about the size of light butter, okay? Cook down. It's looking good. Done. So what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this top on. Set it down in here over here. 
so that steam can go in there. There we go. And the corn. Put it on low. We're gonna put it on low, let it cook on low. On the corn. Y'all see how it look? Looks good. Put a top on there. Let it simmer. All right. Get that done. I am going to use canola corn oil. I'm trying to see what one I want to use. Okay. So first I'm going to put it in the skillet, let it heat up, okay, so why my um, grease is heating up, I want to talk to you guys, and y'all know what I'm I was so hurt by Tina Turner. Rest in But y'all know what? One day we all have to go. And it is, it's a sad thing. It's sad. And uh, as I was uh, doing my um, kale, you guys, I put the garlic in it. And I forgot to tell you all. It's cooking. I don't know why I didn't uh, show you guys, but y'all saw me mashing it up that's what it was for to go in my kale so now make sure y'all stay safe stay safe y'all hear me stay safe do things to you safe don't 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 fall into danger don't let nobody trap you into to danger uh, I'm going to probably use this for my batter. We're going to put flour in here. And sometimes I season my, uh, sometimes I season my, my batter. Sometimes I put season in, in the batter. Take this down so y'all can see. But since I seasoned my meat, we got the flour. Switch it over in there. Making sure my uh, oil is hot enough. And then once we get it in there and get it started cooking. But this is some pretty real meat. It's pretty. Usually sometimes when you got a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of, when I used to batter fish and stuff, yeah, when I used to uh, batter fish, I would take uh, uh, one of those uh, big Ziploc bags and put the batter in it and just shake, shake, shake. Could have did this like that, but just showing y'all. This rib going to be good. Beef ribs, you guys. Fried. And they're going to taste good. But I like, y'all encourage each other. Let's encourage each other. Everybody needs some encouragement. You don't know what a person is facing. Let me bring y'all over here to the stove. But encourage each other, please. Please. Y'all be thinking the person is doing all right or they doing fine, they don't. They'll make it on their own. If a person call you 
but say they're struggling with something, don't run and tell everybody else. Just pray with them and, and pray for them. Pray for them and, and encourage them. And let them know they can make it. We all been through something. We all have been through something. And we came out victorious. So don't look down on the next man. You know, somebody going through it. World. Not nobody to them or another person like. Y'all be a light to them. So they can be able to find their way. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Let's be a light. Let's be a light. Sometimes a person need us. They, they need us. We are needed. Let us not feel like we don't know about the need us. We are needed. In this world, we are needed. We need it. Our grandchildren, our children, our neighbors, our elderly, they need us, y'all. Let's put a smile on somebody's face. That's what I always say. Encourage somebody. Love on someone. It's important. It's important. And we see how the world going on today. We know what's going on. Let this fry. Oops, that's the wrong top. That's my top. I'm going to let this fry some. And we're going to. Can y'all see me? All right. But as uh, as we go by our daily walk here, guys, wake up in the morning, thank God, and pray for somebody. Pray, pray. I know everybody know my name and try, but try to You guys, the ribs is cooking deep fried ribs. So they're cooking really good. And you can do this with on, on the bone too. You fry like this on the bone. But they kind of cooking, really cooking good. So I see them smelling good too. Just want y'all to see how it's doing. 
You guys, we got it all done. Here's the ribs, fried ribs. We got our corn, fried corn. Look at that. Fried corn. And we got our good old kale. Okay. Look. All right, so I'm gonna fix me a plate. We're gonna test this out. And we're gonna eat. I am going to eat me something. All right. Eat that corn. Be good if I had a slice of tomato, but I don't. Good old tasting kale. There we go. Look at that. Y'all see that? Now, let's see how it tastes. I got something that I hadn't uh, had in a while. And I made something the other day. Okay, it looks good, it's real tender. Look at that. Mmm, corn. Mm -mm -mm. It's really good. It's delicious, you guys. Fried corn. This sweet corn. Man. This one I'ma drink. I hadn't had this in probably two years. Good old country Kool-Aid. Y'all remember the number I squared in the kale? I use some of it to back this up. I use the lemon, the rest of it to pour in, put in my Kool-Aid. And this is a mixture of Kool-Aid, I did like a punch. The grape and the strawberry and cherry together. Kool-Aid. Good country eat. You all like what you see? If you all enjoyed this video, you all please share and like. And leave a comment. Y'all stay focused. Let's get creative. Now y'all saw how I did the cooking. Y'all see what I did. Y'all see how I did it. Okay. So, like I said, let's get creative. Stay out of trouble. Love on someone. Love on someone. Y'all have a blessed holiday. Stay safe. Please stay safe. This Kool-Aid is delicious. Y'all try it. If you ain't had it in a while, Try it, and I'm not gonna drink it a lot uh, all the time because it requires sugar, you know. We don't need a lot of sugar, but this is good. It's good. So, like I said, I get back with you all with another DIY project. Y'all just stay tuned. I don't know what it's gonna be, but y'all stay tuned, okay? Love you all. Y'all be blessed.